Hello friends, good morning from beautiful, sunny Kodiak, Alaska. Our first full day here. Yep. Technically, yesterday was a Kodiak day, but it was really only a few Kodiak hours. Yep. Uh, today we're gonna explore more of the island. We're gonna go back to Crab Fest. Uh, we're gonna eat more crab, obviously, but I'm super excited to like go around and see some things today. Me too. But one of the things we need to start our day, Sherry, is what? Coffee. So we're gonna go find coffee first. All right, well, I was wrong. Not first coffee. First, photographing eagles. I don't think it's gonna show up on this camera, but in this tree right there, there's an eagle, um, and Sherry's trying to get a photo of it. So while she's doing that, let me give you a morning view off the deck of the place we're staying. I came out here this morning, sat for a while, talked to Ben. Oh man, what a nice way to wake up. Oh my gosh, you guys, the eagle just took off the tree. And Sherry's showing me this photo she got of the eagle as it took off from the tree. <laughs> Sherry Beth, that's so cool. All right, we're gonna see lots and lots more eagles today. I have no doubt about it. So now, the coffee. Harborside Coffee and Goods. This is exactly what we are looking for. You know you're at a coffee shop in Alaska when? So this is kind of a cool coffee shop. They have lots and lots of like shirts. They have cups. I like these cups. This is kind of a cool, kind of a cool shape. They have lots of coffee, obviously. And they even have a guitar that you can use at the coffee shop. I have never seen that before. And even in Kodiak, we have a nice Instagram wall. <laughs> Look at this. You be an eagle. Adam's got our coffees. We got four coffees for two for us, two for friends. Okay, so we're walking over to Crab Fest, passing Ace Hardware. And you know you're at an Ace Hardware in Kodiak, Alaska, when one of the things they have outside are just a ton of boat anchors. That's not something that our Ace Hardware in Anchorage has, Sherry. It's not. Nope. <laughs> Crab Fest right over here. Again, got our coffee, making our way over on the most beautiful of mornings. My gosh, it's amazing. All right, it's breakfast time. Um, for breakfast, we had to get bitch and biscuits. Biscuits and gravy. Andy and Alicia are the owners of this. Uh, they're the ones who are also staying in the house with us with Ben and Amanda. Mm -hmm. So we got a large order of their regular biscuits and gravy. Oh my. And then I got a small order of the spicy, which is made with chorizo. Oh, we had their biscuits yesterday. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, yep. let's see how this is. All right, I'm super picky about my biscuits and gravy. Um, I normally don't like biscuits and gravy when other people make it because we're just particular about it. Mm -hmm. And this is amazing. It's really good. It's actually very similar to what we make. But their biscuit. But their biscuit is far superior to ours. We're sitting here eating breakfast. Gracie and Noble came over and found us. You can see now they're over there. Just drawing some sidewalk chalk art. Very fun. All right, so we are gonna check out all of the booths. Oh, Sherry's dancing, wow. We are gonna check out all of the booths, but there's a booth over here that we saw setting up that honestly, we're just like fascinated by. Look at how beautiful this woodworking is. Like the whales, oh my gosh. Can you imagine this outside in the garden? Sherry walked by a booth. And there were a lot of things that sparkled. And so here we are. It's actually really neat. Bounty from the sea. They have like a lot of stuff with pearls, a lot of stuff with like sand dollars and shells. Oh, those are pretty. That was fun as we were walking through Crab Fest, kind of heading out to get our day started. We got to meet Heather, who is one of the owners of Kodak Island Tea Company. Uh, Kodak, they were one of the uh, they were one of the Shop 49th businesses that you guys supported. We actually still have a bunch of their tea at home. It's amazing, and it's just so cool to like meet people in person that you've only ever corresponded with via like Instagram DM and email. So today we had biscuits and gravy. We've had coffee. We've gotten to meet friends, the sun is shining. It's not even noon. This is the best. So our first stop after leaving Crab Fest is the Holy Resurrection Orthodox Cathedral. This is a Russian Orthodox Church, um, and actually not just any. This is the oldest Russian Orthodox Church 
I believe in North America, um, established 1794. You can see that iconic onion dome shape up top. Absolutely beautiful. So this is interesting, they have a bunch of old bells here on the ground. There's actually a story here, it says, let the bells ring. It says, in 1945, fire destroyed all but a few fragments of the bells from the Holy Resurrection of Russian Orthodox Church. The bells have been cast at the Kodiak Foundry between 1794 and 1796. Were among the first bells cast on the west coast of North America when the church was rebuilt just after World War II. This building we're seeing actually was rebuilt in the 40s after the fire destroyed the original building. So this building was not here since like 1795 or whatever it was, but still pretty amazing and obviously the doors are locked but we can see inside gosh i'd love to find a time to be able to go in there and then right across the street from the cathedral is the alutic museum so that's one of the museums on our list let's cross the street and go check it out all right well we're a little bit early to the museum it opens in like 15 minutes so we're going to sit outside on the steps enjoy the sunshine watch the eagles flying above us and uh Wait for the museum to open. So here we go into the Alutic Museum. And actually it's really neat because uh, entry is free during Crab Fest weekend. You can see normal prices. It would normally be $7 for an adult. Children 16 and younger free. But it is free for all of us this weekend. All right, so we are just entering the museum here. Really beautiful. And then you can see they have a lot of information boards here just around the different regions of Alaska, different native languages around the state. It's also funny because Sherry finally found a display that is like, <laughs> it's like her height. <laughs> Not so much for me. <laughs> this is a really neat display. You can see they have all sorts of different tools, different bowls. Sherry just pointed this out and it's beautiful, but then you get close and you realize it's all beads. The beadwork on that amazing can you make me that <laughs> mm -hmm. so here's kind of a little bit of a overview of the inside of the museum area you can see they have even more displays of beadwork really amazing and then look at this one my goodness here's the frame of a kayak you can see this would be covered with, uh, with animal skin in order to help it float. And one of the things that they actually have a number of in this area, and it's kind of cool to see because I've heard a lot about these, are petroglyphs. They found a number of them around the area. And I just think that's so cool. Mm -hmm. And this is really neat because they have a petroglyph right here on this rock and you can make a rubbing. So they have like crayons, they have paper, you can just put that over any of the petroglyphs and make your own rubbing of that. That's really neat. In fact, Sherry cannot say no to an art project. <laughs> Which one do you want to do? Look how cool it is. There's that. And then there's that. I love it. And they have another hands-on area. It's make an art card. And then post right here draw a plant that is important to you. Sherry, once again, definitely going to do that. Do you have a plant you're gonna draw that's important to you? I'm gonna do the forget-me-nots. Oh, the forget-me-nots you took a photo of. So forget-me-nots are the state flower of Alaska and they had some really beautiful ones right outside the museum that Sherry took a bunch of photos of before we came in here. So she's gonna pull up one of her photos and try to draw that. I'll show you when she's done. So while Sherry's finishing up her art card, let me show you some of the ones that are here on the wall. I really love that sunflower look at that there's a like a tree down here pretty sure that is nessie well i couldn't let sherry have all the fun so i actually drew my own art card and i'm finished sherry is almost finished mm -hmm. and so once she is done we will have a reveal and then i need you guys to vote in the comments on who drew a better plant or flower that was important to us all right you guys here we go we need you to vote in the comments below. We're gonna turn them over on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. So here's mine. It is titled Flower. Tonight is a good flower. And here's Sherry's. Yours is 
<sighs> like a million, billion, bajillion times better than mine. <laughs> Don't laugh. Although, what are those? Like... Leaves, maybe? Are they? <laughs> Can you not mock me in a museum, please, Sherry? Okay, <laughs> no mocking in a museum. All right, there we go. Living forever at the Alutic Museum in Kodiak. All right, so we just left the Alutic Museum. We were there for 40 minutes. Sherry, what'd you think? That was a lot of fun. It was really small, but mm -hmm. really beautiful. Had really great pieces, and I loved the little art projects you could do. Yeah, very hands-on, which is cool, because mm -hmm. a lot of the hands-on stuff has gone away over the last couple of years. So I love that they still had a couple of those. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, small. Also, great gift shop, though. Yeah, really good gift shop. Uh, yeah. A lot of like actual native art, which is mm -hmm. something, again, we talk about this a lot when, you're, when we're talking like Alaska travel stuff. There are gift shops all over our state. When you visit Alaska, find a way to support like actual local artists, especially native artists. And this place had some great ones. Um, so the Alutic Museum, especially for being free. Yeah. So glad we came Great. here. All right, now, on to the next stop. And before we leave, I do want to show you the forget-me-nots uh, that Sherry was drawing. These are the Alaska State Flower. They are beautiful, and we love them. All right, Sherry, mm -hmm. who in here wants to go to a book sale? Raise your hand. Me. In case we have one book sale. All right, I guess we'll go there next. Can I raise both hands? You can raise case you have two. Okay, let's go to the book sale. <laughs> here we are at the Kodiak Public Library. This is where the the Kodiak book sale is not something you normally do while on a weekend getaway, but oh, I was, was just going to say, but when you're married to this one, this is an option anywhere we go. You would choose book sales all the time. Yes. Um, this is a library. Oh my gosh. We're going to, let's start. Can we just go look at this first? Holy cow. You just live here. I just live in the library. This feels like the lobby of like a Alaskan, like a resort or a lodge. They have like a table over here with a puzzle out you can work on. They have like a stone fireplace. So, want to move to Kodiak? I'm in here. Do you want to move to the, move to the library? To the library. <laughs> this is really neat. I wanted to walk to the back to like see the view, which is you know, amazing, but they have like a couple of beehives back here. So I don't know what the story of this is. The Library Beekeeping by Lakeview Apiary. This place gets cooler and cooler. I love that you can actually check out board games from the library. That is so fun. All right, so here we are at the library book sale. And the way that it works is that it is $5 her bag of books. So as many books as you can fit in a bag. Looks like Sherry has one in there. Yeah, but it's for you. It's for me? What is it? <gasps> yes. Thank you, Sherry. All right, so we're done at the library book sale. Sherry Beth, um, $5 for all of these. Fewer books than I was expecting, honestly, with the amount of books that they had. But there were a ton, like, in boxes still, kind of under the tables, and they were harder to like rifle through. So I did some, but. I feel like for a small town book sale. There was a ton of books. There was a lot of books there. Yeah. That was really good. So you want to show them, do a haul. Okay. Here we go. All of these books for $5, all of them coming home in suitcases. Yeah. What do we got? We got The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Classic. Because um, I don't know where my copy is. We bought Tom Sawyer recently. Because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I totally have already have Huck Finn, but I don't have Tom Sawyer. Nope. And I got home and I was like, where is my Huck Finn? So, so, we got it now. We got it now. Or again. Again. And next and we have. I'll we'll find my other one. Also, they're like power washing the street, like the parking lot, so it might be a little bit loud. Yeah. Uh, the Frog Princess, so obviously. I don't. Okay. Splintered. Which is kind of a take on Alice in Wonderland. Okay. A dark fairy tale Ooh, take on it. Ooh, mm -hmm. okay. Beastly, which is um, Beauty and the Beast, but like a modern take on it. And I love the movie. It has Vanessa Hutchins in it. Oh, interesting. Yep. All right. Midnight Library, because 8,000 of you guys have recommended that I read it, so... 
Here we go. This looks like a new book. Like this is in great shape. Okay. Yeah. The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. Okay. What is with this book? I just like her stuff. I like her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The Fault in Our Stars. I actually own this on my Nook, but I don't have like a paper copy of it. So. Okay. Not more than I do. And the one for Adam. Sure, you did find one for me in Agatha Christie book, The Man in the Brown Suit. So, I didn't find this, she found it for me. So, for $5, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. So, and a beautiful library. Gorgeous. Like, yeah. well done Kodiak for having such a beautiful library. Yes. It had an amazing teen space, had a nice children's space, adult space, I mean, it was just. The whole thing was just beautiful. So, whole thing was beautiful. So, book sale is done. Now, next stop, there's one more book stop we need to make. There's a bookstore here called The Islander. It's like their independent bookstore here on Kodiak Island. This one loves books. What? So, we're gonna go to The <laughs> Islander and check that off. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. We're maybe like 90 seconds in there. Okay. Maybe two minutes max. Okay, run in, look at it, run out. You're really cute. Here we are, the Islander Bookshop. Also, I love their little logo. Like the fox sitting on the stack of books. It's like Fox Books, F-O-X. What movie, Sherry, do you know a movie? Do you know the movie? You don't know, do you? You've got me. Oh, I love that movie. F-O-X. All right, we just walked in, and first thing we see is the young adult section, which is like Sherry's section. But you guys, this store is like really beautiful. Like the books are super well displayed. They have like all sorts of like gift stuff as well. One thing that I really love is that I learned on the website for this shop is that every baby who is born on the island of Kodiak receives a copy of Good Night Moon, the book Good Night Moon, uh, as like a welcome to the world gift from this bookstore. That is like my favorite small town bookstore story, maybe ever. I have like little pins, like more art, less hate, a Smokey the Bear pin. <laughs> you guys know we love stickers and they have so Many good ones here. All right, so one of the things I love they have in here is they have these like literary themed teas. They have War and Peach. They have Anise in, in Wonderland. Those are fun. And they also have these candles that are made here in Kodiak. They smell amazing. There's some coffee. They have like art prints. This place is so great. All right, that was one of the better bookstores I've ever been in when it came to like how nice the store was, the way things were displayed. Yep. It was just like, it was a really nice, well put together store. Some bookstores, you guys will know what I'm talking about. You walk in and it is just like chaos. chaos yeah. This was amazing. We got a few things, no books. No books. Um, I did find some that, well, I don't know how to say this. The ones that I was interested in, I already own. Oh, okay. So there you go. It was a pretty small book selection. Yep. Um, which is good, I think, like because it's it's not chaotic. It's not overwhelming. Like, it's they have these few books and that's it. So. And they had books, they had gifts. They had just like a lot of like yeah. if I was looking for a, if I lived here and I was looking for a birthday gift. Yeah. Or like a gift. This is where I was gonna come, would come to. Also, this is interesting, we talked to the lady in there. Uh, one thing they do that's really cool is they have memberships. You can be a member um, of the Islander and they have different membership tiers. And the way the tiers work is that whatever tier you're in, you get different like benefits and perks. Right. Like a percentage of off of your order. Or um, sometimes they, she said they'll do like cookbook tastings or wine tastings with different membership levels. Yeah. What a cool way to support a local bookstore. Yeah. I love that. So love it. let's show what we got. Okay. Mostly stickers. Mostly stickers. Mm -hmm. These are yours. I got two stickers. I got the fox on the books, like their logo. And then I got a mental health matter sticker. I love both those. I got a little fox books Islander. It actually says the Islander bookshop, Kodiak, Alaska. Cool. Which I like. Mm -hmm. And a little holographic one that says bibliophile. Uh huh. And one that says book nerd. That's you. Because that's me. And then this pin that says more art, less hate. That's gonna go on your bag. Yes. 
All right, so Islander Bookshop, check. Book sale, check. Museum, check. I think we've done the inside stuff we wanted to do today. Now it is, well, it's almost 2.30. Mm -hmm. We're thirsty and we're hungry. Yes. So we're gonna get lunch, and then we're gonna get the heck out of town and go to exploring. Yeah. We've done a lot today. We have. And we haven't even left town yet. I know. Insane. All right, <laughs> let's figure out what we're gonna do for lunch. So we just passed Kodiak Airport and we are heading out to explore the island. This is the Coast Guard base. Um, it is one of, if not the biggest things here in Kodiak Island. Uh, this is one of the like main, if not the main Coast Guard base kind of anywhere, I believe. Um, yeah, like an absolutely huge, huge operation. You can see Coast Guard helicopters all there. A bunch more Coast Guard helicopters right here. There's like a big Coast Guard airplane over there. So we're heading out of town, doing some exploring. Uh, we're going to a restaurant called Rendezvous that I found on Yelp. Um, everything in town seemed kind of busy. And so we thought, you know what? We want to head this direction and do some exploring. So we're heading this way to get lunch and explore. You can see a couple Coast Guard like ships over there. All right, we've arrived at the rendezvous here in Kodiak. I have no idea what to expect, if this is a bar or a restaurant. So here we go. The menu looks super good. They have a salmon burger and I love all the fish. It's like salmon, locally caught salmon, halibut, locally caught halibut, fish tacos, locally caught fish. Like all of the fish is locally caught. Lunch got here. I went with their halibut burger that smells amazing and their chowder, which looks, I'm so intrigued by this. They said that it is one of the things that people drive from all around to try. Cannot wait, but the thing that looks the most amazing is Sherry's. You are like the best order. You always order the best stuff. You got the fish tacos. Fish tacos. Those right. are like art. Yes. Amazing. Uh, so the rendezvous was pretty darn good. good. When we walked in, I thought it might just be, we have some very aggressive dogs. Uh, I thought it might just be like bar food. That's bar food. Bar food gets a bad rap because that was delicious. Now back on the road, off to explore more of Kodiak Island. You guys, we're just <laughs> driving along okay. and this little guy's like limping across the road. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> um, glad we stopped in time. I'm glad we stopped in time too. He kind of looked at us like, what? He did, he like stopped in the middle of the road and said, like, what are you guys doing? All right. Bye, buddy. You're pretty. You're very pretty. You okay? What are you doing? So cool. All right, so we just stopped, and I don't think the camera's gonna pick this up, but you guys, the green of the moss on the entire floor of the forest and the green on the trees. This is... Stunning. Uh-huh. All right, we pulled over because there is a big old eagle right up there in that tree, just sitting on that branch. And Sherry Beth wants to try to get some photographs. So she's got out the, uh, the big old camera trying to see how good of a shot we can get that guy up there. So we stopped and took a bunch of pictures. Um, that's pretty cool. Look at that. All right, now. Back on the road to see what else we can find and take pictures of. We just pulled alongside the road and stopped. And just look at this. All right, so I found this little path down to the water. It's moderately sketch, but I didn't die. And that was the goal. And there is nobody out here, like anywhere. Like I don't see any evidence of people there's no other cars there's no anything right now this is crazy you can see this actually right here is bull kelp you can see the bulb on it right there it's a type of kelp actually there's a really good example of bull kelp right up there i'm mostly curious about like shells like can i find any shells down here Without a doubt, the water 
is my happy place. Also, those birds are pretty darn loud. This is just so freaking relaxing, you guys. I love, love, love being by the water, whether it's a river, lake, ocean, kind of whatever. It's just so wonderful. So the tide's obviously down quite a bit right now. But look at all of these, you guys. Amazing, all of the shells right in there. You can see even moving around. God, it's so cool. All right, well, I've probably messed around down here by the water for long enough. So back up to the car. And you can actually see this row of just kind of debris. Normally that's the height of where the tide is, right? Everything just kind of gets dumped on the top. So it's a good place to look for just like little shells or things like that because everything kind of gets dumped among the gunk right here. So obviously there's a whole bunch of seaweed, a whole bunch of bulk help, just a whole bunch of just like little sticks and stuff. But sometimes you can find shells or sea glass. So if there's a good shell right here. See, that's kind of a kind of a nice one. Also looks like we have part of a, well, it broke. Like a clamshell, maybe? Right there. Look at that. It's a good one. Also, this is a great piece of driftwood. I love the look of that. Man, if I lived here, that would be going home with me in the garden. That is such a cool piece. Uh, but I would have to put it in my suitcase. And my suitcase is already full of books for Sherry. I found you some beautiful shells. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you gonna keep them forever? Well, yeah? Sure. Probably not though, huh? No. You're gonna leave them probably right there on the ground, aren't you? No, oh, no. So we're stopping alongside the road because there was an area we just passed back up here that looked, well, frankly, it looks magical. Like, you guys, I just don't think that the camera's gonna do it justice. So crazy. It looks like there's a carpet on the forest. All of the moss on the trees above us. What? All right, Sherry, a couple questions. Mm -hmm. Number one, what do you think of the spot? Beautiful. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. It's just so unique. Yeah. Um, and then next question. Yeah. Doesn't this seem like the perfect place that Sasquatch would live? Well, if he existed, maybe. Not if he existed, because he exists. I love you. Bye. I miss you already. I know I miss you too. Bye. All right, so we're back downtown, walking back over to Crab Fest for the third time, I think, since we've been here. Yep. And Sherry, I think our goal tonight at Crab Fest is more crab. More, cra more crab. Uh, we want to buy some tea. We want to explore a lot of the booths that we've just kind of walked past. Yep. And just sort of take more of Crab Fest in and definitely more crab. Can already tell just from walking in, uh, definitely busier than it was last night. A lot more people, which makes sense because it's Friday evening. All right, it is time for more crab. All right, so we decided to do something a little bit different tonight. Because um, I wanted to show you guys how much meat you get out of one Dungeness crab. So I went ahead and shelled everything. And this is all meat. Like all of that, just meat, no shells. What do you think, Sherry? It's a great deal. Ready to eat? Yes. I am too. Well, we did it. We have seen a number of people with different approaches as to how to like get the butter mm -hmm. and the crab and the butter. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw one lady who was doing the take a bite of crab and then drink. Yeah, like she would take a big bite and then just literally like- Like a little shot glass. Kudos. Like, we, we don't have a fork, so we were going the like finger dip method. Mm -hmm. You guys, this, we were just saying that we are so spoiled because we had crab yesterday, we're having crab today, we're gonna have crab tomorrow, yep. and then we're gonna go home and be like, where's our crab? Where's our crab? Yeah. Also, this gonna be like, why do you guys smell like crab? I was, it, it's so funny, I was just gonna say, this is probably the one festival in Alaska Missy would actually love. Yeah. 
<laughs> Next year, Missy on a leash. Crab fest. What up? All right, so one of the boots they have here is Alaska Airlines, and they're giving away free luggage tags. Mm -hmm. So we each got one. You fill out your information. Uh huh. On the other side says Crab Fest. Very cool. Thanks, Alaska Air. It's one of the things that we noticed was happening is the Crab Fest art show. So we're gonna pop on in, check it out. This is so pretty. They have really awesome art. Also, I love this. It's like a whale vertebrae that's been turned into like a little potter for succulents. These are really pretty pieces. They're uh, both made out of sea glass. You can see the whale tail, but I love the tree. The leaves out of sea glass. That was fun. Little art show. Now, back to walk around. All right, so we are back at Kodiak Tea Company and we're getting three different kinds of teas. We're getting their Kodiak Berry Blend, which is like raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, rose hip, salmon berry. Yes, please. Uh, then we're getting a maple cream, which is a new tea. Very excited about that. That sounds like something I will absolutely love. Black tea, maple syrup, and vanilla extract. Excited for that. And then Bell's Fats Blueberry, getting that one for sure. This is one of our favorites. All right, so you guys can see we bought a couple things. We got some bags here. We also got a Alaska Wild Berry Shake from Soda Jerk. And this is one of the businesses we wanted to support while we're down here. They're actually based, I think, out of Anchorage. But on their way down here, they had like a, a trailer caught on fire and like completely gone. They lost like the entire setup they were bringing down here. Yeah, so they had to go back to Anchorage and get like a whole other set that they had usually up through the summer. So we wanted to make sure we spent money with them. Yeah, help them out. A Just bit. help however we can. So Wildberry Shake definitely looks good. And there's a animal cookie on top. I don't like them. Sherry loves them, so there you go. All right, so we left Crab Fest, um, obviously. Okay. Uh, we are now out here at Fort Abercrombie State Park. Not to be confused with Fort Abercrombie and Fitch State Park. That's not a thing. Which just sells like very tight fitting jeans. <laughs> um, Fort Abercrombie is like a World War II site. Uh, naturally beautiful. I did come out here before on one of my work trips. And so we're just gonna drive through and look at some pretty things. Uh, but there's a lot of World War II like relics and things out here, kind of like this. You can see there's a bunker out here. Apparently there's even like a whole bunch of old like munitions, like World War II guns that are out here. So yeah, we're just kind of driving and checking it out. But look at this, it's like the sun just cutting through, lighting up all of that moss on the trees. Oh my gosh. This really does look, it, I told Sherry, it feels like a movie set. Yeah. Like this does not feel like a real place. Okay, we just parked and we are walking up to this area because it looks like it's probably really pretty. And they have this, I don't even know. It's a what? Oh, so you guys, this is a generator, <laughs> a World War II generator house. Oh, and there's a World War II generator. Oh, the acoustics in here, Sherry? You wanna come in here and hear me sing? Uh-huh. No, I'm good. <laughs> nice try. And this is really neat. This is actually the Kodiak Military History Museum. It's not open today. I think I saw that it's only open on maybe like Sundays, but it's in the old bunker that is out here and overlooks all of this. Okay, so this is crazy, you guys. This is like one of the base of like one of the guns, like the cannons that they had up here protecting this area in World War II. And apparently when the war was over, they like blew this up. Look at how absolutely stunning this is. And there was just a group of people up here who just left when we got here and they were pointing. They're like, look, there's a whale swimming right out here in the channel. And now Sherry's like kind of freaking out and going down. Sherry, you want me to come, come after you? What? You want me to come down there? Yeah. Okay, apparently we're going down there because Sherry's like has to get a better view of the water to try to find the whale. So I thought we were just coming out here to take pictures. Now we're on a whale hunt. Welcome to my life. Okay, where did you go? Sherry. Okay, she's down here. <sighs> Who are you gallivanting through the wilderness? Oh my goodness, you guys. 
look at this. I'm gonna try to not die, oh goodness. Look at that. Straight down to the water. Holy cow. Out there, all the rocks out there. Beautiful sherry over there. I'm in heaven right now. Heaven. So we walked out here, kind of close to the edge on one of the other sides. You can actually hear the water like hitting the rocks down there. The waves. Sherry taking pictures. Sherry taking pictures. Yeah, it's like, it's a perfectly peaceful setting. Click, 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 click. Yeah. Click, 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 click. Ah, oh, Sherry, you're such a tourist in your own state. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. So I came out here, I think I said this, um, to Fort Abercrombie before, but I did not come down here. Like, this is my first time out here. It, it, this, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in my life. Like, I can't explain the mountains in the distance and then the islands that are closer and the little inlets and the rocks and the, the water lines and just, you guys, it is, this is crazy. And we say this all the time, but like, if, if you've never been to Alaska, like, make it happen. <laughs> like, like, book a trip because um, no video that we could make, no description, no words that I have could describe like this right now. Like this is beyond description. I'm so glad we came here this weekend. Glad we came here? Yes. Me too. So we're back up here, you can see the guns over there. There's another one over there. But this is really neat. It talks about the birds and mammals of Miller Point. Different things you can see here. Fin whales, gray whales, humpback whales, killer whales. Well, we saw a sign that said they close the gate at 9 p.m. And it's like 8.44. 8.44. So we have 16 minutes to get out mm -hmm. or we just live here now. Well, it's not, not the worst place to live. I was say, it's not the worst place to live. Look, we have a little table right there. A little bench. Gosh, we have trash can over here. Perfect. I think we can live we here. A little, uh, generator bunker. Generator bunker can be our room. There's an outhouse over there. Really I think we're good actually. <laughs> so if we don't make it out, we'll survive. <laughs> but I think we'll be able to make it out. This is kind of crazy. So this is like filled with water, which is weird. But if you like come around, look at this. It's like a, it's like a lookout. Like, people could have been in there, like, looking out there at the, like, the harbor, probably ready to tell people, shoot the guns. So cool. And then there's lots of other things like this around here that's like, I don't know what this was, but gigantic concrete base. Another one, another one there, another one there. Like, there was something mounted here looking out wait what is this u.s engineer office seattle washington 1943 it's a survey marker that's pretty cool okay this is actually kind of cool we missed this sign so this is a oh okay so the building we were just looking at like the one that's flooded the observation area mm -hmm. would have been this the electrical control shelter and then these, I bet the observation tower, I bet that's what those four, like, oh. giant like things were for. Huh. Whoa. How's a large pair of binoculars that scanned the horizon in unison with the searchlight? Dang. Crazy. Look like what Sherry just found. Well, little, little inchworm. Well, inchy. <laughs> Inching his way along. Okay, seriously, we have to go or they're going to lock right. us in here. And they have a whole bunch of information boards talking about Fort Abercrombie, um, kind of what it was used for. They have Kodiak after the war, and they have these little Fort Abercrombie State Historical Park. Okay, I'm going to grab one of those. We're going to take that. You're, you're so cute. So Sherry's dad's like a huge history buff. Like, he loves history. 
he was a history teacher and so she's actually been taking photos of everything and she's like, I can't wait to text my dad all this stuff tomorrow. So she's like, she's taking photos of everything. <laughs> all of the things. All of the things. All right, so we are heading out of Fort Abercrombie State Historical Park. Um, this was on the list to do while we were here. I thought we'd do it tomorrow, but I'm super glad we came out here tonight. And gosh, this to me, Actually, hold on, there's nobody around us. I'm gonna stop for a second. We may talk about this like in a Kodiak wrap-up vlog or something, but this to me is a must-do. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes outside of town and it's beautiful and the history is really cool. Like, Yeah, as far as scenery, I enjoyed this even more than I did all the stuff we did earlier today. Yeah. Like that, where we were just out, is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Stunning. Just mountains everywhere and like the ocean and it's just The rocks beautiful. and the cliffs and just everything's green. Yeah. So to me, like this, if you're coming to Kodiak, like this is like must do material. Top tier. For sure. All right, let's go. Hi friends, we are ending the vlog in the same place we started it. On the deck at our Airbnb, looking yep. at the Kodiak Harbor, Sherry Beth. Um, thoughts on today? What a really good day. Highlight. Oh, the book sales, the book shop, the views that we saw, all of the things. A lot of highlights. <laughs> I think my highlight probably would be Fort Abercrombie. That was really cool. Spectacular. So friends, we love you guys. Uh, still another Kodiak vlog to come with like the Crab Fest parade yeah. and lots more good, fun Kodiak stuff. We love you guys and we'll see you on the next Leg Life video.